And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Mardu enchantments. We played this deck on Saturday and it was a lot of fun and we're going to go ahead and bring it back here in Ranked. And you may notice the three decks that we're going to be playing in Ranked today are just those three decks from Saturday. These are three of my favorite decks to be playing right now and we played them last Saturday. It's Thursday today so you know it's a good five days. Um, so yeah we're going to try them again. Uh, there's one change that we made in the deck, and we talked about this at the end of the last video, getting in the fifth egg, basically, with the Guild Globe here, instead of the Dawn of Hope, just to give us another card. Um, hey, we got Dean getting the sub. Thank you so much there, Kitty Dexterity, for gifting out the sub there. Um, let me change the second sub of the day. Our second, So we got a fifth egg effect to just give us another thing to do on turn two. Um, help us hit our land drops and everything. I feel like we didn't need the Dawn of Hope because we have a good late game anyway with Theater of Horrors, Outlaws, Merriment, um, Liliana already taking over the late game. But just getting that extra um, egg in here makes the Doom Foretold um, even better. Um, but uh, there we go. So, like, yeah, this deck's all about, um, you know, grinding out opponents, Doom Foretold. It's just a really impressive card. Of course, Outlaw's Merriment wins uh, late games. Um, yeah, not too much else to really say about the deck here. Um, I've been I've been very impressed so far with Cavalier of Dawn, a way to, to deal with like Planeswalkers, turn them into 3-3s. Three uh, whenever they kill Cavalier of Dawn, we get one of our enchantments back, so getting something especially like Doom Foretold back. Like those, those two just work so well together. But all right, we're going to play some matches over in Ranked. Uh, let's see. Traditional standard ranked for Mardu Enchantments. So we're going to play four matches uh, with the three decks in ranked. Make sure we've got enough time to, to get to our donation deck with Jeskai Storm later on. Um, we got Thousand Year Storm. That's what we're going to be playing later on. Hey, what's up, QQ? Hey, that's, that's awesome, teacher. I'm glad you're enjoying the model black discard deck from the other day. That was a good one. I'll probably play that again this weekend. I liked that deck, too. All right, I think the graphics look too good. Yes, those are too good. They're 1440. Let's go to 1080. And we're going to mulligan. Much better. Hmm. This is tough because my hand kind of has everything that I want. I'm going to put back the Clarion. It's either the Clarion or the Othakai. I want to keep the Egg and the Doom Foretold. Yeah, we'll put back the Clarion. Because there's just a chance that the Clarion just doesn't do too much for us. I think leading with the Guild Globes is better than leading with Golden Eggs because um, if I'm going to sacrifice one to Doom Foretold, I want to be sacrificing Guild Globe because this, all this does is just can add mana, but this thing can gain life if, if we need the life later on. All right, I already know I don't need land, so I'm going to Scry first. Good Scry. If it didn't really matter what I draw, I would, us I would usually want to draw first and then Scry. But in this scenario of us already kind of flooding out, I'll do this cry first. Hmm. Great start for my opponent. Lucky Clover, double Beanstalk with double, uh, double rampant growth there. So I could have led with the Doom Foretold, they, and it's it's not bad whichever one they sacrifice, but if they do sacrifice the Edgewall Innkeeper, then maybe my Othakai isn't really doing as much as I want it to. So 
So much mana now. They still have more mana than me, and they've spent three mana already. Hey, Bleijin. So they can't sacrifice a token. So it has to be Innkeeper, Beast, or Clover. This would not have been a bad time to have that Clarion, though. Taking their time. All right, the beast is gone. And Clover Beanstalk Giant is so, so powerful. Yeah, now they get double wish with Fae of Wishes. And they still have five mana, and I don't think they've even played a land yet. So they should wait they should wait till my turn to do that. Oh wow. You got another beanstalk giant. It's incredible. My turn's much easier. Now we'll sit back and wait for my opponent to do something. Uh, yeah, the Tamiyo is going to wreck me. I need to find. I mean, I need to find a removal spell for Tamiyo. Because, yes, Tamiyo shuts down Doom Foretold. Dueling you will be excellent research. The past is never forgotten. Fling? And repeat rever reverberation. So I need something to answer Lucky Clover. The Lucky Clover has it just been worth so many cards. I'm talking about for games two and three, not for this game. That game is over.
Okay, I don't have anything good for Lucky Clover. All these cyborg cards are just pretty situational. There's not any of like there's really not any of these cards that are unplayable, but there's not any that are spectacular. I don't like the elder spell in my deck. And I want to take it out, but I don't really know what to replace it with. Duress doesn't, I mean, I don't know if I need Cry. I got Clarions and Kaya's Wraths. I don't think I need Cry. They have all, like, their creatures and everything for Duress, as far as that goes. There's nothing great here. I'm going to play a dress. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, Prison Realm can, can exile an innkeeper, same with Legion's End, and Cry, but I don't know if that's the game I necessarily need to, to play. Like, we have, I have six sweepers already in the deck. So I think I'm okay there. <laughs> I'm not going to hard mull for dress. Yeah, these hands are not good. I guess I'm just going to keep this instead of going to five. I suppose. Hopefully they don't have Lucky Clover then Triple Beanstalk Giant to just let them have infinite mana right away again. No, nope, looks like we're dead. Correct. Yeah, it's yeah, best of three like we're playing here is true randomization for the for your opening hands and everything. Yeah, and grass rampage would have been good to have here. Ugh, man, lucky clover into Beanstalk again. It's just such a good opening sequence. It's not that big a deal. I don't really have any car other cards to play anyway. I got a card out of their hand. It's also not that bad for me. That's, of course, very bad for me, though.
That's all you want whenever you play Lucky Clover Beanstalk Giant decks is all you want to do is play Lucky Clover into Beanstalk Giant. It's obviously much more powerful to have eight lands than four lands. Nine lands. I play Doom Foretold right now, all it does is get the Love Struck Beast. Or I have the Kaya's Wrath, they can get the Love Struck Beast. I'm not going to just cast the Kaya's Wrath right now and only trade one for one. And just trade Love Struck Beast for Kaya's Wrath. Alright, we're done. Alright, perfect hands for my opponent there, both those games. Not much for me to do. Oh, yeah, opponents in here. Yeah, GG's. Yep. All right, next match. Oh, this could be a long day. Just mulliganed every hand so far. Hmm. I do need land drops for Theater of Horrors to be better. And on, honestly, like with this kind of thing, like Theater of Horrors is really slow. Like honestly, maybe I should have put in, maybe I should have put um, the theater back and kept the Cavalier. Alright, so is it flash? It's not easy to beat counter spells with expensive sorceries, which is what our deck is. So this is a bad matchup for us. But we're just going to play stuff. And see how fast we die. Uh, again, with the Is It Flash deck, their their very best threat to have in their hand is Brineborn Cutthroat to play on turn two. So looks like we're three for three in games of mulliganing with our opponent having their very best opener so far. So that's why our deck is getting destroyed. I think Brazen Borrower is kind of likely here. Okay, or just another cutthroat.
I need my opponent to not have anything at all. Like if they have, they didn't play a land last turn. Or they just had a single piece of cardboard that that's had any text on it. We lost, and they did. All right. So duress, legions, end. Get elder spell out of here. Davriel is going to be something we're going to rely on. All right, let's see. One theater out, one Liliana out. I think we're gonna take. I'm gonna take out all the theaters. Just not a very good card against uh, Brazen Borrower and everything. <laughs> Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, just the flash decks are definitely our, our toughest matchups here. Deck is not designed to deal with counter spells. All right. All right, we're in a good spot. We're on our on a mulligan. Opponent snap keeps. So we're we're right where we're used where we're used to. It does kind of feel like Doom Foretold and Kai's Wrath are the only two cards that I'm playing. I haven't seen much else besides Doom Foretold and Kai's Wrath in any of these games. If I could go watch a concert of any band or musician, dead or alive, who would I go see? I'm not sure. That's not something that I've really thought about much at all. Like, if like that wanted to go see any specific musical performance. I don't know. I guess maybe maybe go see a, like a Queen concert. Freddie Mercury. You know, as an amazing performer. That would probably be an awesome show. Awesome, Shaper. Glad you're enjoying the Mono Black Discard. Hey, Gary. Thanks for staying on that two month streak there. Thank you, Gary. I have the auto pass going. Yeah, I think that was good choices for the cards they're adding to Historic. Nothing just overtly powerful that every deck's going to have to just jam in it, like, you know, like Thoughtseize. That's just going to completely warp the format. Some good choices. And uh, like how they're kind of focusing, like, with tribal cards. Um... They basically have no shot here.
have no shot. Let's call this. Gonna bounce it with borrower. Oh, at least they drew their very best card. Can't really draw a card there with the castle like I'd like to. Okay, now we just gotta find something to kill this borrower. My opponent doesn't draw any more spells. Never mind. All right, new match. There may play. We may play a game where my opponent doesn't have everything possible they could ever want. All right, so recently I got the Atemsis All-Seeing card where you can reveal uh, six different CMCs after attacking when the game. Someone explain to me how that card is used. I've tried it and it doesn't work. I've looked online multiple times, can't find an answer. Okay, so basically, yeah, after you have to, I think you have to like attack your opponent and then yeah, you have to have six different uh, converted mana costs in your hand, which means, um, Pretty sure that that's what the card says, right? Let me just 
Let's kind of double check here. Yeah, reveal your hand if you have six different CMCs. Okay, so CMCs are what are just like the, like that's how much they are added together, how much mana the, the card costs. Othakaya has CMC of three because it costs three total mana um, when you add up the cost there. Clarion also has CMC of three. <clears throat> so if you had a if if you had a hand like this, Oath of Kaya and Deafening Clarion would have the same CMC. They both have a CMC of three. Lands have CMC of zero, so they count as zero. So you have to have six six different CMCs. You have to have like a zero, a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, and a six. Um. So that's you know pretty difficult to have. So that's why when you're saying the, the card doesn't work, you probably don't have six different cards with with different convert a mana cost there. Looks like we're playing a, a mirror match. Looks like we got a mirror match. Yep, so there you go. So yeah, so six different costs. Good, I have to die. Yeah, I've just been I've been pretty busy here, but yeah, I've been wanting to, to post more on the Patreon. I want to post talk about the new historic cards and everything. I I always have like ideas for like posts for the Patreon, but I don't have always have enough time to make really good long posts like I have been. I need to start just making shorter posts and not not hold them to like a you know because kind of like blog type posts and not hold them to like a a, a large. Um, or not not hold into like a big time, um, I don't know, uh, big time writing standard. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Like not not hold them to like a really high standard. Ouch! Now that hurts. Ethereal absolution. That hurts. That really hurts there. I mean, I could do the damage to them, but that thing, that creature that they had there, Life Link. I'm getting the Othakaya in play, of course, um, to make them sacrifice more things. Uh, they'll be able to play another Ethereal Absolution. Ouch. Looks like they're going to get this one. I wish I had this Cavalier of Dawn back.
Yeah, mirror match, but they're they're gonna get me with these ethereal absolutions. Like this this is over. We'll try to get him for games two and three though. All right, Dress and Davriel in. Roan Cloak Giant. Replacing Akaya's Wrath. Gosh, Ethereal Absolution is going to be so tough to beat. Keeping one Murderous Rider in is its also just something that can just be a creature for me to, or like a permanent for me to sacrifice to Doom Foretold. Alright, good start with Double Golden Egg. I'd really like to find some Doom Foretolds here. Is Cardboard Live doing anything? I know nobody said anything about it yet. Is it doing anything? I guess I could check also. No, not doing anything. Well, I don't think Deckmaster is doing anything either. Oh, I definitely should have played the Temple. Played the wrong land there. But it's all good. I was get looks like I was playing the Doom Foretold the next turn anyway. It's 
It's all good. Hey, Agonaba. Now, Deckmaster has been working for about a week now. Unfortunately. All right, we got the first Ethereal Absolution out of here. I would think we would be getting this one. Well, it's, it's kind of better for me to play the Realm Cloak Giant, but I'm just going to play the Kaya's Wrath that they know about. Alright, I'm going to take out the Murder Strider, get that other Kaya's Wrath in here. Yeah, you, that is an option to side in Starfield Mystic with the opponent sideboarding out removal. A couple of things about that sideboard plan that that don't work out. Um, a couple of problems with the sideboard plan of, of just siding in uh, Starfield Mystics when people side out the removal. Is, yes, opponent side out removal, but I don't, and I have, I'm still playing a lot of sweepers. And... My Starfield Mystics will still die to my Sweepers. And then two, that's those are valuable sideboard slots to have um, answers for different decks that you just won't have answers for with playing that. So they kept a two-lander with nothing... Nothing to draw cards or help hit land drops or anything. Good, evil. I don't think you'll be needing that. Alright, Doom Foretold is out of here. And it's in the graveyard, so now we can pick it back up with Cavalier of Dawn. Whenever Cavalier of Dawn dies. I guess I should have attacked for two first. Doesn't make my attacks too good after they go 3-3. Three, three. Hey, Evan. Hey, Carlos. A very merry opponent over here.
All right, we got to win. Yay. <laughs> we got to win. All right, we're back to Diamond Tier 1. Close to Mythic. All right, we got one more match to play here with Mardu Enchantments. Yeah, the Oath did li yeah lines up nicely against the Golem. Same with, same with like Clarion. Then yeah, we'll get four matches with each deck, and then our Jeskai Thousand Year Storm. Donation deck to end the stream tonight. Yep, this is a three a three three meta. That's a three three meta game, so yeah, three damage is perfect. Okay, we're feeling good. We gotta win. Hey Dr. Dents. Yeah, day's going great. Been a good enjoyable day so far. We're on the draw. Yeah, sure. Let's keep. It's kind of the opposite of our hand so far. How do you deal with graveyard hate with Esper stacks? Counter spells, siding out some dances. I think both of those are probably pretty good options to kind of do in a combination of the two. You probably want to. Yeah, side out some dances against graveyard hate decks. If you can have a you know different different win condition where you don't need to be relying on the graveyard, that's that's the the best thing is try to try to sidestep graveyard hate by moving away from relying on the graveyard. Do I have a favorite kind of deck to play? Yeah, probably uh, like just mid range decks. Um, yeah, mid-range decks are the my favorite kind of deck to play. Yeah, I could see another Liliana in the sideboard. Yeah, definitely want some something else besides just one Liliana um, in the main. So that's that's all you have. Definitely want something else in there because I think that's. That's probably your best bet. Um, that could be like your own, like Ashiox or something, is you know another way to another win con. All right, we did not hit land drops, unfortunately. Theater of Horrors doesn't really do anything right now. Like if I can't deal damage to the opponent, it's not going to do anything. I won't forgive this. Back to the shadows for now. Okay. Got that fourth land. Okay. Look at this. We're on a roll. Probably want these grasps. And probably another Rogue Cloak Giant. I have to be worried about their planeswalkers. I gotta have gotta be able to kill their planeswalkers. This is a bug. There it goes. Gotta kill the planeswalkers. I think I want to just take out Theater of Horrors. That is pretty bad against Golgari Queen. It's also very slow.
So yeah, I don't really want Prison Realm either against Golgari Queen. So we got two Noxious Grasp, two Elder Spell, two Murderous Rider, and then the Doom Foretolds and the Cavalier of Dawns. That's a lot of things that can kill Planeswalkers. And then we got five Sweepers for creatures. Um, yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah. Maybe I should keep like one theater in. You know, a really good late game card. We'll see how this goes. We're up a game. Okay. Sure. I should put Liliana down to the bottom. Could have made him whiff. All right, looking good. Hmm. Certainly feels like there's holding up counter magic, right? We're just going to pass with this Noxious Grasp available. The problem with, with waiting, though is we are playing against a discard deck, you know, like they've, they've played Duress, so it's it's not like just holding stuff in hand is safe either. Got rid of a goose and a bronzedon for Doom Foretold. That's not bad. I really don't want Merriment countered. Which is the problem here. That's fine. We have the castle. All right, even if they counter it, that's fine. Ugh. Getting cards out of hand and then just drawing stuff later on with Castle is not bad, so. Ooh, not countered. And that's the best case scenario. This has been a pretty short video, though. We may have time just to do another one here with this deck. Still, if we win this game.
If I were you, I'd just from battle to the grave. I'll find a use for you later. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. Hey, what's up, dude? Sin Christ. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. No. no. Well, this was unpleasant. My Liliana. Did you consider not grasping and then playing Doom Foretold instead if they countered you'd still have grass field in this? So I was thinking the other way. I wanted to play the the grasp to kill it, and then if they countered it, I still had Doom Foretold that would have came down the next turn and dealt with the Nissa that way. We gotta turn Oko into a 3 3. Give Oko. Let Oko know how it feels. Turned into a 3 3 all the time. I invite you to change your ways. Well, now unfortunately, Cavalier of Dawn won't. Won't get back my doom foretold. I leave the Golgari now. Everyone is expendable. Oh, that really hurts. I have a blocker to keep Oko alive. Hmm. So my plan here was, if they didn't draw this Gilded Goose, I was going to be able to attack and kill Oko, Kaya's Wrath, and then Doom Foretold, and they have to sack Raska. You know, it was, it was perfect. But now they they drew that Gilded Goose. Blind. Remain blind. Wow. Wow. That was unexpected.
Even if they have a counter spell for this Kai's Wrath, I don't die. Okay, good. They did not have the counter spell for the Wrath. So I, I don't know why they kept a. Yeah, so they, they should have just played their land. Like, shouldn't just keep a card in hand when there's a Doom Foretold on the other side. But I guess maybe they're thinking that they could get more value out of it that way, of me th trying to play around a counter or something. Alright, looks like we're going to be 2-2. Two and two. Yeah, I could have drawn before the Doom Trigger to take one less damage. I think we're fine, though. At that point. I liked drawing my card and assessing, seeing where we're at. Because remember, we have this Golden Egg that's that's three more life if we need it to need it as well. Um, so we're fine on life now. All right, yeah, let's let's play one more match. We're two and two. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Thanks for checking in. Okay, good hand, good hand. I like it. We'll see if not keeping that Elder Spell hurts against Planeswalkers. It's kind of the tough thing of turn one scry. If you tell me I could have an elder spell or a sixth land, I mean, give me that elder spell. Doom foretold. Nailed it. Alright, so we're down to 12. Those blind to are lost. It's not poison. Trust me. Hey, Joe. And now my opponent's in that hard, stuck in that rock in a hard spot where it's like, do I play anything? If I do, I just have to sacrifice it to Doom Foretold, or do I do I not play anything? Tough spot to be in. Hmm, I kind of want to play the Liliana. I'm gonna do that. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. All right, cool. I'll draw a card. Elder Aspirin. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. Ooh, that's our fifth sub today. Looks like I was one behind. Thanks, Elder Aspirin. I 
just going to go ahead and cash in this Doom Foretold, I think. I think that's what I should do here. So I don't really want to sacrifice other stuff. Well, that hurts. That hurts. That gets rid of my Liliana. That really hurts. I will rise again. Things aren't blocking anyway. Might as well attack with them. Thanks, Joe. Well, that car is perfect. I require servants. Your corpse will volunteer. A little death never hurt anyone. Dev. They were a lousy servant anyway. We're going to hold this back for... I, like, it is a lifelink creature, so it'd be good to attack with it to gain two life. But I want to hold it back because, you know, a Nissa or a Oko, either one of those would make a haste creature that would be able to attack Liliana. I've learned much from your death. That was, like, the perfect turn for us. Uh, Oko can definitely get banned. If somebody says that Oko can't get banned, they're they're not saying a true statement. Um, there's it's not Oko does cost a lot of money, but that does not mean that it cannot get banned. All right, Doom Foretold's perfect here against this Wicked Wolf. All right, uh, it's just game one. Oh, I was thinking that was the match because we just played against this this type of deck, but no, nah, it's different. Okay, so let's bring in Grasp. So they were just Simic. They weren't Vraska Golgari Queening, but they were... Um, Questing beast ing. So it does kind of feel like Prison Realm is going to be a little bit better against the Questing Beast deck, and we don't need Elder Spell as much. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I just don't play it either. We're gonna we're gonna go down to one theater of horrors. Last time I cut them all. We're gonna we're gonna keep one. Honestly, maybe I should be keeping both. Maybe I should be keeping two. Oh, really, Anatran? We haven't lost since you logged in. All right. Well, thanks for logging in. So basically, I want to make sure to have enough exile for for Wicked Wolf. So I kind of want this card. 
But what am I getting rid of? All of these seem pretty good. All right, maybe I just don't play the fifth sweeper. The fifth um, hard sweeper. That is. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't love how I'm sideboarding here. No, the Cavalier is good against Oko because Cavalier kills Oko. But yeah, it can get turned into an elk afterwards, but it still kills the Oko. That's, you know, got to have ways to kill Okos and Nissas and stuff like that. Hmm. Don't love drawing the second Liliana yet. Questing beasts. Just try to fight through this doom foretold. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to you. Rise and shine. Yeah, I could, so I could have prison realmed that, and then I. But then, then I sack the doom foretold, right? Because then, then the doom foretold trigger goes off. The problem, and so I kind of wanted to do that, but then the problem is, if you look at the rest of the hand, I have nothing else to deal with the planeswalker, in my hand. So I kind of need to keep this prison realm because, like, if we just do that, the doom foretold's gone. They play, you know, like a Nissa, and I got, I got nothing to stop it, kind of thing, or you know, like an Oko, or you know. I don't like having if I had if I had another card to deal with the planeswalker in my hand, I would have prison realmed there. Well, I wouldn't sack the prison the doom foretold would be gone. Because during their upkeep, they'd they would have nothing to sacrifice if I prison realmed. So the doom foretold would just be gone. So it's not like I wouldn't need to sacrifice the prison realm. Nature's true power. That's no way to treat a lady. I must seek 
comfort in the land. It doesn't deal with the planeswalker. I need to find more things to deal with planeswalkers. What a good mindless minion. Uh, I, w I probably wouldn't recommend playing Grixis a Mass without widespread brutality. I think you would just prefer playing like a regular Grixis Control I will deck the at that point. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Waste not, want not. More merriment. Um, I don't. Let's see. Did I? I don't think I played a different Grixis control list. But yeah, you, YouTube for like all the decks that I've played recently, YouTube is the the best place to to look. You know, just go to YouTube, go to the video tab, and kind of scroll through there. It's the easiest place to scroll through, and then you know it has the each video has the link to the deck list on there. I, I think Grixis a mass was what I was playing for, or like a mass was what I was playing for Grixis control. Recently. Do not ruin my dress. Death is enlightening. That's good. Bail of Summer? Hopefully not. Fight on without me. Ah, this looks like a fun new toy. All right, looks like we got this one. Pretty good out grinding the Simic deck twice in a row. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, the the animation here is the the three things that they're holding. See the token, they have like a potion for that one, and then the other token this person has like a letter opener. And that one has a stick. And so that's that was the animation or those three things. Right, it's kind of acting a little laggy again here. I really hope the the performance issues that they talk about that they improved in the update on the 21st, so a week from today. I really hope that that made a big difference. As they talked about, it, it's going to make a big difference. Not. All right. 
Three and two. There we go. One one win away from Mythic. One even just best of one win away from Mythic. So close. Alright, so a lot better after, you know, we started 0-2, we lost our first four games, and none of them were particularly close. We played against the the deck that had just perfect hands of Lucky Clover into multiple Beanstalk Giants for just tons and tons of mana, and then just tons of cards and stuff. We played against that first, and we played against the Flash deck. A Flash deck second. Is it Flash? That had really good hands as well. Um, and so we lost both of those. And we also mulliganed all four of our games. So yeah, we weren't really in any of those games. All right, so we lost all those, and it was feeling bad. But then uh, we turned it around. We won a mirror match. We started being able to keep seven-card hands. And then after winning a mirror match, we played against two Simic Oko decks. Like one, one Sultai, one Simic. And outgrinded them pretty good both of, both of those times. So there we go. Good good 3-2 record. Um, and yeah, we saw how this is pretty decent against those um, those blue-green decks, those Oko decks, where as long as we have enough Planeswalker removal. You know, we did a pretty good job of keeping the Planeswalkers off the battlefield, um, especially with Doom Foretold. And then we have a lot of sweepers for the creatures. And that's kind of it. You know, they just got the creatures and planeswalkers. And so we were just able to, to do that. And they, they can deal with our artifacts really well, with like Oko dealing with artifacts and creatures, but not enchantments so much. So Doom Foretold and Outlaw's Merriment um, did a great job there. And, I mean, so did Liliana with the drawing extra cards. Got to draw a whole lot of extra cards with Liliana. So I like this as the top-end card. So there we go. Um... Yeah, that's so that's Mardu Enchantments. A good showing there. Um, another good showing for the deck. I know we, we did pretty well with this deck last time, too. I think this is just a, a pretty solid deck. I think the Flash matchup, um, you're going to struggle. Like That's going to be the toughest one, like the deck with lots of counter spells. That's one that I'm not really confident in us winning. Um, but besides that, you know, get paired against these Oko decks, I think you got a pretty good shot at winning those ones. All right, but that's Mardu Enchantments here. If you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Please hit that like button over there and leave a comment. I would appreciate both of those. Um, but that's it here for Mardu Enchantments. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.